All I hear is talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, yeah, I respect that. If she need on the ride, do oh, I bet that? Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is JH. How y'all doing, Postal Family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Everybody clean? Are you crisp? Are you feeling iry today? Let's talk. I want to say thank you for all the well wishes to the little king. As I told you before, he is never too far behind me. Say hi. Hi, guys. Yeah, he's over there. There he goes. Anyway, um, so let's talk about these, uh, this little article that um, Jan sent to me. Jan, I'm going to put your name out there. I appreciate you. And this, I read it, I'm like, eh. But then I, I read it a little deeper, a little bit deeper. And I see a trend of um, possible concern. That's what I'm going to use, the words possible concern. Let's read it and then elaborate on it. I may jump around a little bit, but you'll get the hint. Postal Service plans to cut back on places to mail letters, cards in Central Connecticut. Now, before you jump and say, I don't live in Central Connecticut, let me finish. Central Connecticut will see a downsizing of post office operations starting in September according to officials from the United States Postal Service. Hmm, letters, it's kind of where we started, right? Facing major operational losses year after year with a reported $6.5 billion loss in 2023 and a $2.1 billion in the first quarter of this year, the USPS is looking to reorganize. Why, Why does this thing keep jumping around? Reorganize and consolidate its facilities as part of PMG's Delivering for America. All right, starting September 7th, the post offices, and it lists a bunch of them, uh, will discontinue mail processing services at all the operations, will be largely moved to USPS, largest regional facility in Wallingford at 24 Research Parkway. So this apparently is gonna be the largest regional facility. Mm. More post offices in the region may also be impacting, impacted, extended as far as Branford and other counts. While the post offices will accept packages, they will no longer be taking items such as letters. According to representatives, these satellite offices will now primarily be used for retail such as buying boxes, cards, stamps, and other postage. I remember talking about this not too long ago, and this article just came out. They were going to take the little places, the, the, the hubs and the, and the stations that they took the carrier units out, and they were going to turn them into something like a Kinko's. If anybody's followed me, I mentioned this. Now they're talking about it. But this, forget about what I talked about. I never thought they'd stop taking letters letters but it all starts to come together if they stop taking letters it makes sense on why they got these bigger um uh, carrier carrier boxes that they're gonna be driving around the ngdvs think about that for a second you say we're not transferring over into a parcel delivering company but what we're reading says that's what's happening I don't make this stuff up. This is what the post office is saying. Hmm. What will become sort some of larger post offices like those in Wallingford, which takes up a prominent position along its main street, blah, 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 as the number of jobs that will be lost by this restructuring. While mail carriers are now expected to have to divert to the Research Parkway facility for pickups, those who process and sort mail at these existing facilities may be let go. Mm. 
Connecticut is not the only state impacted by this change, as areas in Washington, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and eight other states will also be seeing this reorganization go into effect in September. Some have compared these changes as USPS taking on an Amazon model. With the company operating several large fulfillment centers to service package delivery with smaller outlet locations in major cities. You don't know nothing about me, and I know some of you don't. I've spoken about this before. Y'all thought I was crazy. Some people said you can see the vision. You didn't understand the vision. I still don't understand the vision, but I get it. People are emailing. Less letters, we have to keep up with the Joneses. It is what it is. Why you always got an opinion? Why you always got an opinion? Because I'm Gen X. We allowed to have our own thoughts. (laughs) Look it up. Whew. The Postmaster General Delivering for America plan involves more of a reorganization and consolidation of processing facilities. The processing of outgoing mail, mail dropped in local collection boxes destined for points across the nation, is being consolidated into fewer centralized facilities, said USPS Strategic Communications Specialist. Unfortunately, we have a processing and distribution network that is designed for the way people used to mail things 50 years ago. This realignment will put the right equipment and personnel in the right places to effectively and efficiently handle today's mail volume, which is minimal, and deliver a first class service, not first class mail, to our local customers. They're just trying to change us up. It is, it was happening, it was happening. This is what they're saying. Y'all can read into it. USPS has said that the changes should have no overall impact on customers and delivery times. Post office supervisor, blah, 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 said he didn't anticipate layoffs at his location as some people were retiring, but that there, but there was a general intent to keep the forward-facing staff working the retail portion of the office. Not laying people off, changing job positions. Come on now, we spoke about this. I told y'all, this is like a, this is like a, a, a soap opera. You gotta keep watching. You gotta keep watching. Um, though that scenario it may not be universal for all local offices. While some postal workers seem confident in the services changes ahead for the USPS, there was an uncertainty of what the department sought to do with the all soon to be empty sorting spaces and parking that will go unutilized. (sighs) Anyway, there's a lot more to this. I'm gonna leave this article pinned in the comments section um and as you guys saw i've been putting up a couple little funny videos well i ain't gonna call them funny videos it's just carriers just being carriers i ain't knocked them with carriers but these are the type of videos that we show in the ddc classes to let people know that you know these are real life situations and um i'm also leaving my son's channel in there because he's putting up a couple of those videos on his channel as well so if you haven't gone over them he'll have more than i will i'm just gonna put some sporadically but he's gonna have a whole list of them popping up he's trying to get his watch time hours up so if you haven't taken a look on his channel he may he'll have some that are different than what i put up Let's just say that. And they're really short videos. It'll maybe a minute or so. So like I said, his video will be pinned, his um, channel will be pinned in a comment section as well. And if it's not in the comment section, it will be in my video description. Just just go take a look. Uh, Yeah, what y'all think about this? What y'all think about this? Don't attack the old man because all I'm gonna say is prepare for the change. I told y'all before, I feel like I'm cross-eyed. Told y'all before, hold on for the ride. Hold on for the ride, because it's real, it's real. Bigger vehicles are outfitted to carry parcels. Everybody like, well, how are we supposed to deliver mail? If you actually look at the NGDVs, there's an article out 
as well, talking about how it actually helps the carriers because the windows are set lower because y'all got these mailboxes that go up and down and two, some are low. So the window is wider and it actually is help, more helpful for you guys. It was made with the carrier in mind and they are getting a lot of praise over the actual um, practicality of the NGDV. All right. With that being said, this is JH. Your comments are welcome. Your opinions are welcome. But the facts remain the same. All right. I'm out. We out. Wait, you can't just, you can't, we, are you, where did you come from? I thought you left. I know, yeah. I, I got to do one last thing. What? We love you most, fam. Unexpected expenses stressing you out? Get the money you need now with Loans for Feds, a program designed specifically for federal employees. Bad credit is not a problem. Application is fast and easy with same-day approvals. Apply now.